Why did I just pick it up? Let's run as fast as we can and never look back. That's a 185 egg. Ah! Yee! Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark. Where today... It's the day. I gotta do my coin flip. So... Alright, I can't remember what I said at the end of last episode, so I'm just gonna call it right now. Heads for dragon, or wyvern egg, sorry. I think I even did, I think that's the exact same thing I did last time. That is, because I called it a dragon egg. <laughs> so, wyvern egg, or we go to the new, like, oasis cave and check it out. From what I've heard, there's nothing in there, so heads, wyvern, tails, oasis. We got a heads. We're going after a wyvern today, and I also kind of grabbed everything I need for it already, because that was the one I was hoping for. I'm not going to joke with you guys, I was actually kind of hoping for it. But I was going to do the flip just to give the Oasis a chance. I mean, we still can go do it. Um, I have been leveling uh, our, our Skittles here. I pushed as much as I could into his health. I am half tempted to go keep on doing some drops like I was earlier. Just so that way I could get another mind wipe. Because I I need a dino mind wipe. Because that's what I would like to give him right now. Is just so that way I could pump every single last point into movement. I feel like a wyvern moves faster than us. Like, personally. I'm going to head back to the base. Just because. Just because. I'm pretty sure I have at least one dino mind wipe. Or not mind. Well, not a dino mind wipe, but a mind wipe. Okay, so, smithy is the one thing. Yep, and I actually did already craft it into a dino mind wipe. I forgot about that, so boom! Alright, so, let's... I want... I'd say that's fair on stamina. What do you guys say? Uh, I'd say, yeah. Now, movement speed... You, my friend, are going to be needing to be fast. Really fast. Now, I don't want to run out of stamina while I'm running either. There we go. Let's give you a test flight. Let's see how fast you are now. I feel like you are faster. Oh yeah, he is, he is hella fast. Jeez. Also, are these caves up here? I've noticed them as I'm flying. And I've not bothered to go actually, like, properly check it out. Watch, I'm gonna fly in here. There's gonna be a rock golem. Oh, it's kind of, it's just like a little kind of, like, cavern path up here to the top. I just like how they redid the mountains. They look more like, uh, sandstone ones. You got some buttes and all that. If you guys don't know what a butte is, it's kind of a, imagine a very worn down hill that's made of sand. That's a beaut, from what I understand. So, I want you guys to understand something here. So, my strategy for last time uh, getting a wyvern egg was we were on the back of a rhino nanthia, so no strategy needed. Actually, I'm pretty sure the strategy I used on, even while on the back of the rhino nanthia was just to get them stuck on a titanosaur. So... Okay, I saw weird shadows. I was just making sure there wasn't a wyvern flying directly at me. Okay. Um. I say we start on that end. And we just look down in. We look for a nice egg. Um, we'll check their stats. If it's not a good one, we won't We won't even uh, bother like picking it up. I mean, I know the admin command to destroy wild eggs on single player. That's what I usually use. Because I am on single player, because, again, on a server, though, I would not have to worry about that, because all the eggs would expire over time. Or enough people would go pick them up. Also, is that thing a pure black? No, you just look like you're pure black. From where I was, okay. Let's... Ooh, okay, land. Get your stamina. I s this is my first time seeing the wyverns. 
Okay. There's a lightning one right there. Let's get our butts up. So there's a poison one. If anything, I would love a fire or a lightning. Ooh, there's a nest. I see one. I'm pretty sure it's a poison egg, though. Target acquired. Why did I say it like that? The lightning egg. Okay. Lightning egg. I feel like... These are not lightning wyverns. I also felt like that one was getting kind of close to me. Poison wyvern. Lightning wyvern. Level 10. Now, I feel like that's that one's egg. Oh! Lightning wyvern just left the trench. They're hunting the Argentavis. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, just because I believe that lightning egg right there is a level 10 just because of the one that was right next to it. I mean, ooh, 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 I see another egg. Fire. Okay. Okay, now, hear me out on this. Um... There's a really, really high chance that that egg is for that wyvern. Um, my reasoning, it was not there 10 minutes ago, or not 10 minutes ago, uh, 3 minutes ago, and that's the only fire wyvern that was right next to that. So, uh, by deductive reasoning, or deducing, whatever the thing it is I just did, I'm pretty sure that egg belongs to that wyvern. Okay, the wyvern hasn't moved in a minute. I'm going to drop him a snack, see if that gets his attention. Okay. He got unstuck. I, I'm, mm, I don't like it. There's definitely like places for me to run and hide after I grab the egg that are really close. But the goal would to be to get out of the area. I don't know. I feel like I cover more ground faster than a wyvern. And I feel like if it's a fire wyvern, I might be able to lose it. But I need it to... Okay. I need to double check this. Because it's something that has gotten me killed in the past. Okay. Sorry, I just have to check, because sometimes I also don't have their whistle groups set up right. So, what I'm going to try is grab the egg, and... Oh, this is not as big as I thought it would be. I'm going to die if I go in there. Um, legit, the 185 is hanging out right there. Right there. Look at the health and melee, though, on that thing. Be the one I want. Now here's the thing though. We also don't know for a 100% fact that that egg belongs to it. It's just a good guess. What? Would be a good thing to... This is not the good thing to do. It's the only thing though I'm thinking of. Let's load this gun. I think that pissed it off. Ooh, it moves a lot faster than I thought they did. Okay. So in a straight line, I'd say me and the wyvern are about the same pace. What do you guys think? Yeah. And then it loses its aggro. Okay. I think... We have a chance. It's a small one, but it's a chance.
Also, that wyvern just get deleted. Where'd that wyvern go? Well, like, no, like, we were full on staring at that too, and it just, like, got e deleted. Hold up. I don't trust that. Dude. Oh, I wonder if the game has a thing where if they get too far from the trench, it, like, deletes them. Wipes them. I don't know, but we're gonna be, uh, braver than we should be. Just because of the scenario. Please, for the... Oh, my God. <gasps> Why did I just pick it up? Let's run as fast as we can and never look back. That's a 185 egg. Ah! He... What? Okay. I, I, I hope that is not a lightning wyvern, because it does sound like one. Please be a storm. Please be a thunderstorm forming. Oh, don't stop. We're just gonna head home. We're heading home. Um, so, I don't know if you guys just saw that. 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 Does that hurt me? The lightning effect on the ground? Also, flying through the thunderstorm? That's like something I actually wonder. Like, can I get struck by lightning? Oh! Okay, I thought... I thought the... I thought that the tree was something trying to kill me. Also, I can't... I don't know where I'm flying. So we're gonna fly up. That... Did not help much. But you know what? We can at least see... The bird? Where are we at on the map? Next thing I'm gonna know... Um... So, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I've seen the movie here recently. Uh, or at least a review of it. Uh, you ever heard of a movie called Ring of Fire? It was this kind of cheesy dragon movie. It was kind of good, kind of like, what the hell is this? Um, but basically, like, the dragons come back or whatever. And they have this scene where they're in the helicopter. And for some odd reason, they're jumping out of the helicopter with parachutes and nets to kind of kill or trap the dragon or whatever um yeah I don't know why you would jump out of a perfectly good airplane but like one of the scenes in that is that there's just a dragon chasing them through the clouds but I mean we're at least above the storm now this is one thing I love as well in art with the with the clouds we can get above them all right Look at this. We can get above the storm. You know, I don't really have any good photos with Skittles. It's been a hot minute. I think we got a nice one there. So as well, I'm pretty sure we're getting kind of close to how home. Why did I say it that way? Oh, geez, look at that. Her house is actually right down there, I'm pretty sure. That's the wrong waterfall. Our house is over here, though. Do I not know where I live? God damn. I done goofed twice. Oh. Yeah, I know where I am now. So, I thought that waterfall was this waterfall, and that's my gate right there. <laughs> so... I thought that one was my lagoon. No. There's several, like, little waterfall lakes down around here. Also, I'm so glad that the storm is only over in that one area. Jeez. I didn't know that certain areas of the map were the only things affected by the storms. So, now what we gotta do... Is figure out how to hatch this egg. So, we, we've got... We've looked at the parent. Alright, the one thing that is still kind of confusing me is what the fuck happened to it? Like, honestly, like, what happened to that wyvern? One minute it's there, the next minute it's trying to fly back to the, the trench and it just blinks out of existence? Like, I, I legit blinked. Or, it wasn't even really a blink, I, like, just was looking straight at it and it just disappeared. I guess, yeah, kind of like a blink, like... 
doom, it was gone. Okay, guys, so I got everything I need now to hatch the egg, I believe. The one thing I'm kind of concerned about, though, is should I hatch the egg? Because do I have the resources to take care of it? You know, do I have the milk? Do I have, like, I know for a fact I don't have the milk, but do I have the capability of getting the milk? Like, because I know I can cryopod him to uh, delay the inevitable. But, like, I gotta, I gotta think of something here. Should I hatch it? Or should I go for it? It's just because it's a 185, I'm wondering if I should hatch it or not. Like, I believe fully I should be able to raise it on my settings with no milk, and it should be fine. But I could also be completely wrong. And I don't know what to do if I'm wrong. That's the scary part. That's the scary part. What do I do if I'm wrong? Okay. Okay. So I finally got enough fire pits here to get the egg hatching. And, uh... Sorry, I had to remove my clothes so that way I could properly test the temperature to see how hot it was. Without me, like... Eh. Like, you know, dying. Or not, well, yeah. Hopping on the fire. The thing was, is like, it's hard to tell when you have the cold resistance and heat resistance and all that. So, this guy should be hatched up in about six minutes. Um, I'm going to get a cryopod on standby, just in case things start to go bad. Also, looking directly at the fire is really kind of laggy. I'm not going to lie. That's the clay. I don't need the clay. So, I figured we would quickly here, since we went over that way, we'll look and see what kind of wyverns we have on the map. What is it? 190, I believe, is the max. Lightning. Got one lightning. 115. That's a... Okay, so there's probably not many. What? Why are there nothing there? We were just over there. I don't know. It might be... I, I don't know what's going on with that. Because it's just the thing. Watching that wyvern get back over to the trench and then it just disappeared. Like, what happened? Alrighty. Last 10 seconds here on the wyvern. So, what we gotta do here real quick is we gotta claim it, unfollow, and then quickly put out the fire so that way it doesn't burn to death. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's extinguish all these fires. So this is going to clear up some of the lag around me right now as well. I'm just going to see the frame rate slowly improve as we put out fires. So, boom. Wyvern, baby. You know what? Let's quickly get a look at you here. What did we get in terms of stats? We already looked at your mama. So, the health... Eh, melee's not bad. Stamina. Yeah. I've had better wyverns, and to be honest, to get the perfect wyvern, I'm going to have to breed ones that are uh, highly, like, wildly, like, it's going to be, like, 40, st 40 plus in health and all that. It's a weird thing I go for, and it's just because they they spawn wildly at 190. Like, that is the max for uh, wyverns and rock drakes and uh, mostly any creatures i believe you can collect from an egg i believe magmasaurs might be different i'm not a hundred percent sure also i'm not gonna worry about the wood in these all right i got me a castorotus which is a beaver so i don't have to worry about all this this wood i can easily retrieve in one chop of a tree go out i don't want to look at fires anymore Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna give you guys an update here. So from just watching it grow, I'm absolutely certain on my settings, I'm not gonna have to feed it, hopefully. But I don't have wyvern milk for when it wants care, is the thing. And I'm not 100% certain if the cryopod glitch works anymore. And technically it probably won't because uh, I don't have I have cryopod sickness. 
apparently there someone has told me that there is a mod out now that does uh change that stuff please just swap to cuddle yeah you want to be hand fed wyvern milk so that's yeah so this one's not going to have any imprinting on it but for our first wyvern being a one fit or i almost said 158 a 185 that's that's not bad honestly like that's a really good wyvern just for a starter, normally, like, my luck, I would grab a level 25 egg, and then we would go back in with that level 25 and, like, build it just to be a egg running guy. But this guy, this gal, sorry, this gal right here, you should be fine. Like, I feel like you'll turn out just fine with zero imprint, um, even though I would love to have a fully imprinted wyvern. All right, that, that would be, that'd be god tier. So, our gal here just hit 50% here, and that this is just me confirming, like, absolutely 100%, no doubt in my mind, she should not need anything, like, food-wise or anything, like, to get fully grown. Um, but I am going to see, maybe she'll eat some meat? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure all they eat is the wyvern milk. Will you eat meat? No. But once you're fully grown, you'll chow down on that. Alrighty, guys. So, our guy here should be almost done. It's like at 98.7, I believe. So, he should be... She should be done within the next... Couple seconds, I believe. Or within the next minute. It's at 99.9. .9. Oh, that's a wyvern! That is a fully grown wyvern! Oh, come on. Let's do it. Wow! This could be fun! Oh, just being able to fly through the canyons again on the wyvern is awesome. Especially with the new graphics. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When I first started playing Ark on the Xbox, I had it beforehand. But, like, once Scorched Earth came out, I remember watching uh, Everything Riot, I believe was the name of the YouTuber. I used to, I remembered him and one of his buddies. I watched them play the entire, like, playthrough of the map, and it was awesome. And then once it was available on Xbox, I hopped on and started playing it. And I mean, just, this was my favorite thing to do at the time was, I would hop on, I'd play Scorched Earth, and I'd just go fly around through the canyons. I never actually beat the Mana Core back then, but like, once I got on, play, or. Er, yeah, actually, once I got on PlayStation, I beat the Mana Core, finally. I got a tribe over there. But that was over on the Ragnarok map. That wasn't on Scorched Earth. But that was the first time I actually fought the Mana Core was on Ragnarok. But, oh, this is just so fun for me. You don't want it, like, th this is just, this is giddy for me. Oh, this is just fun. You know what? I could technically do it. I could do it. I could do it. There's one phoenix on the map and it's level 20. Wait, I thought phoenixes could only spawn up to like level 10. I gotta try. I feel like phoenixes spawn at higher levels. Are they breedable now? Did they make phoenixes breedable? I that's I gotta go I gotta go get one to see. You know what my smart butt just realized? Uh, phoenixes don't appear until heat waves. So that thing's sitting over there dead, like not dead but as a pile of ash. So there's really absolutely nothing I can do. I don't even know why I was trying to tame a phoenix. I should have realized that sooner. But, yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And, as well, if you want to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post videos, I do post on the daily with about two, vi two full-length videos and a couple shorts. Um... And as well, I am currently running a membership goal for the YouTube channel. We're currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99. 
once we hit that goal of 10 members we will be starting up our own arc server and depending on how well that goes we might consider upgrading it to a cluster but yeah we'll consider that more here once we get closer to that goal being complete but anyways this has been Gunshot Mori signing off peace